okay today we shall be developing today we shall be developing we shall be developing gotch gotch to zero model meaning that meaning that meaning that there is two arch two arch but no gauge there is two there is two arch but no gauge so that is called gauge two zero model so there is two arch but no gauge that is called gauge two zero model right gauge two zero model that we shall develop today and we have the data you can see all the data bbr okay the data are here bbr bsr ibr and pbr this is the data so i can make it zoom for you all the variable right i make it zoom so you can see all the you can see i have the data right bbr bsr ibr and pbr what is called bbr bangladesh born return then what is bsr bangladesh stock return what is ibr indian bond return what is pbr pakistan bond return so i have four variables and here i assume that all the variables are stationary and if not if not we have to make it stationary and then i can run the gauge two zero model but here we assume that all the variables are already stationary so we can run our model okay here from here uh, okay and here ibr so as i told we have four variables bbr bbr bsr ibr and pbr out of this all, all variables ibr is our dependent variable ibr is our dependent variables okay what i am doing i am opening all the variables sorry open as a group right i am opening all the variables i'm sorry so these are my variables bbr bsr ibr and pbr right and here we have we have taken data for 200 days return data 200 days so i go down 200 days data the return data I'm going down, going down. So 200 days. So until this, that is our sample size. 200 days data of this of these four variables, return variables. Okay. Okay. The question is that when we can run the arch model when we can run the arch model so there are two conditions what are the conditions conditions number one number one there should be clustering volatility there should be clustering volatility in the residual that is condition number one and condition number two there should be arch effect 
and only then we can run the arch model or garch model arch or garch right but there should be two things one is clustering volatility in the residual that is number one and number two there should be arch effect after arch test okay so we we proceed one by one first we run the model and I told you suppose IBR is the dependent variable then I take the constant and PBR suppose I run this regression model IBR C and PBR then we can check all these two things one is clustering volatility and the second one is the arch effect okay so I go to a quick estimate equation I do it and here I put the variables IBR C then PBR right what is IBR Indian bond return what is PBR Pakistan bond return and our sample size I take 200 days say 200 days right sample size so that is our model so we can estimate the model okay what I do I make it zoom so that you can see better you can see that is our model right that is my model you can see and that is the sample size right so I can run it now okay so I press ok okay this is the estimations of our model and dependent variable is IBR and independent variable is PBR okay now we check the residual of this model so that is residual here you can see I click here so that is the outcome of the residual of 200 days you can see from here so this is 200 days it is day 1 it is day 200 All right 200 days volatility okay from here I can see uh, I can say suppose this is day one until day suppose here from here to here around 30 days right from here to here 30 days what is happening here uh, that is uh, what is happening here I just check uh, uh, here uh, uh, okay here the periods of low volatility is followed by another period of low volatility for a prolonged period suppose 30 days right but from here from 30 days until here right 30 days until 100 days right about 100 days period of high volatility is followed by period of high volatility for a prolonged period again from here to here here to here period of low volatility is is followed by period of low volatility for a prolonged period and from here to here that means from 150 days until 200 days so period of high volatility is followed by period of high volatility so we can suspect that 
there is a clustering volatility there is a clustering volatility meaning that we can run the arch model why because period of low volatility is followed by period of low volatility for a pro for a prolonged period at the same time period of high volatility is followed by period of high volatility for a prolonged period and that is called clustering volatility so probably we can we can estimate the model using arch model but we can double check it by using arch test whether there is arch effect in the residual or not that we can double check before introducing arch model okay how to check i go to view then residual diagnostic then i go to heteroscedastity test right here then i choose arch effect and i choose number of lakhs one right then i press okay okay so it is the arch test arch test is here observed r squared p value how much it is it is less than 5% the p value is less than 5% meaning that we can reject the null hypothesis what is null hypothesis that there is no arch effect that is the null hypothesis but we can reject it because the p value is less than 5% meaning that there is arch effect so we can easily run the arch model or gauge model and because there is clustering volatility in the residual at the same time there is arch effect so we have all the validity to run the arch or gauge model and here is our plan to develop a gauge model gauge 20 model meaning that there will be two arch effect but no gauge effect that is our model okay that we shall do now